In today's video, we will be learning about the red-shouldered hawk. Hi, I'm Clint Hahn, and I'm here at Grand Bay Wetland Education Center with my little buddy, Eddie. Eddie is a immature red-shouldered hawk, and he's a beautiful little guy. He's a male. Males are smaller than females. And of course, Eddie's a bird, and he hatches from an egg. He's a uh, warm-blooded creature, and these guys are native to South Georgia. These birds prefer coastlines and wetlands. Eddie, scientific name is called Buteo lineatus, and he is an occipiter. He's a bird of prey. He is a predator bird, so he likes to prey on other animals to eat. And one thing about him is, is he likes to stay in the same territory after he hatches and mother and father take care of him for up to maybe even a year or two. Red-shouldered hawks have excellent vision and hearing. They use both of these to find their prey. You know he can see really well, he can hear very well. And so when he's out hunting and flying, Eddie actually likes a maneuver. He likes to dive bomb down on prey. So if it's a would-be prey item, such as a mouse or sometimes even other birds, from way up high, the occipiters will come down and dive bomb that prey item. Mortality in the first year can be less than 30%. As Eddie ages and he becomes an adult, he'll get different plumage in and his feathers will be more brightly colored red. He'll be a beautiful bird. And one day he'll find a mate, which he'll probably stay with for life. And we call that monogamous. Red-shouldered hawks are monogamous, which means they stay in one relationship with one mate. And Eddie actually flew into a vehicle in the highway, and that's why we have him. As a baby, when he first started flying, he got in an accident with a car. Now he's gotten a lot better. He can fly, and he definitely is a beautiful specimen. And you look at his feet, and you notice that birds have talons. Birds of prey do, the occipiters. When the red-shouldered hawk puffs up, this is a defense mechanism. And each one of those birds of prey has their own distinctive call. So Eddie and his kind have their own distinctive call. And a lot of times in movies and things like that, they'll actually use hawk calls to dub in for eagles or any other kind of birds of prey because they're so common. Red-shouldered hawks have a distinct call. When looking at all the beautiful species of hawks, kites, kestrels, falcons, and eagles, all those guys are considered birds of prey. And Eddie is just one really good example of a specimen that we have that is native here in South Georgia. Review questions. True or false, the female red-shouldered hawk is larger than the male. True, what type of environment do these birds prefer? Tundra, grasslands, or coastlines and wetlands? Coastlines and wetlands. True or false, red-shouldered hawks are native to South Georgia. True, 